Okay, this ain't got a, a lick of stretch. This ain't got a lick of stretch, honey. But she. Hey gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing an Eloqui haul. I really picked up some pieces that had a lot of razzle dazzle because if you guys have been following me on the ground, y'all see I've been doing my thing, okay? So I wanted to get some pieces that would catch the eye, you know? So I'm hoping they fit and I'm hoping that they're cute. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, join the gem squad. Now let's get to it. Okay, so first off, we have this stunner of a dress. This actually heavily reminds me of the brand Affirm. They make a lot of mesh dresses. I just really love the color scheme. Oh my gosh, I really love the color scheme on this. Like the burgundy, the browns. And I'm very picky about my browns. This is a good one. This is a good one. It's nice and warm and rich. It doesn't look like dull and gray. Like I'm very particular about my browns. Oh, I wish they had an all brown version of this because the way it's giving nudes, darling. Oh, oh no, they ate down with this one. Yeah, they ate down with this. I can either do like my burgundy boots or my brown boots. Um, I could do an orange bag for a little pop, a little razzle dazzle. Ah, oh, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this at all. Personally, I'm not like my stuff tight, but you know this, I could do this. This is a cute little innocent dinner dress, dinner situation, family friendly. Um, it's midi length. Don't mind my house slippers, okay? Listen, <laughs> y'all know how we get down. Um, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I do wish the sleeves were a little longer. Let me see. Is it me? Am I the drama or is it the sleeves? The sleeves are fine, but you know, my arms just eating up the material, but uh, you know, it's all right. First of all, <laughs> I just want to say, oh, this stitching was a little, mm, 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 mm. there's a lot skin here, that's what it is. Um, I just want to say that, you know, <sighs> I'm just so happy whenever I find a mesh dress that fits so well. I'm a little traumatized from the Jordan Wood dress um, cause she came out with really fire mesh dresses, but the sleeves, oh baby, they were sleeving a little too much. Okay, my arms couldn't fit. But this, this one right here, hold on, let me adjust the lining. It does come with a brown dress underneath. Once again, like this beautiful, rich brown. They really did pick a beautiful shade to go underneath this. Ugh. And I am wearing a bra and I feel like it doesn't look crazy. I think the bra, when placed and aligned correctly with the slip dress, you can get away with it like blending. Oh, you can kind of see the differentiation right here. But yeah, overall, I really like this dress. The brown is doing it for me. Ironically, I feel like I've been tiptoeing into the brown field as of late. And um, this is a good one, yeah. This is a good one. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Mm -mm. I am mad. I am not mad. So next I picked up this tube top and these wide leg pants. This actually comes with a blazer, but I didn't pick up the third piece just because I a blazer top and pants all matching is a little too matchy matchy for me so i picked the pieces that i figured i'll get the most wear out of and that's these two now let me show you guys what it looks like okay wide leg pants comes all the way down to the bottom of my foot you can't see my crispy feet love that absolutely love that now personally these pants could use a little altering to really make them like fit well you know because it they could sit directly right here and just move over the the yams and, mm, beautiful also personally if i just was able to remove just a little bit from the bottom so you can see the difference between the the top and the bottom because like low-key is giving jumpsuit like this <laughs> and i want you to see that it's a two-piece but the beautiful jewel tones in this, like absolutely stunning. 
Can you guys see the deeps? The colors in this, the deep purples and blues and grays and green. Oh, Lord. The color on this is actually stunning. And it is velvet. Oh, and we got pockets. Okay, come on, somebody. Pretty comfy to wear. I did slide this over my top, but does this have a zipper? Uh, maybe not. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I just tucked in my bra strap. It doesn't look crazy in the back. When I do like a tube situation and strapless, it'll really create back titties. Um, and it'd be, it be just as voluptuous as the front, okay? Y'all be mad when I don't wear a bra, but I be like, listen, it, they could be worse, okay? <laughs> um, but this, this is cute. This is cute. And I feel like just with a, a little bit of touching up, a little bit of tailoring, it will really like, really eat the girls up. Um, I would definitely do silver jewelry with this. <sighs> This is good, it has a good weight to it. I feel like it's very cold weather friendly. Yeah, you can mix and match, you can do this with denim. You can do like a cute white cropped blouse or something with these. You know, this, that's a couple things you could do. Yeah, she's cute, I like her. I like her. Yeah, y'all will see this one at some point once I do a little. So next I picked up this two piece set and I'm, I'm really trying to branch out and try different colorways, try different patterns and prints, try just different articles of clothing that I wouldn't naturally gravitate towards. Um, and that includes pieces that are just more extra, you know? Um, so this don't fit, okay? This ain't got a, a lick of stretch. This ain't got a lick of stretch, honey. But she's cute though. Like, oh, I don't like that the, the print isn't on the back. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> What, did y'all run out of print? I don't like that there's no print on the back. Now, personally, I severely doubt that I would wear these two together unless there was a particular occasion for me to do so. But I feel like as separate pieces, like fire. The things I could do, like I could wear these with a black bodysuit, um, this with some nice slacks. First of all, I would actually get this cropped a little more. I don't really have the longest, my body's just weird. It's like, I don't have a long torso, but like she ain't all the way short. And it's just cause uh, my butt sit up real high and it's be creating a waist where there shouldn't be a waist. <laughs> um, and you guys know how I feel about pieces that don't fall either at the waist or at the hip. I just, I have a preference and like an in between like this is just not my vibe. I feel like if they just, took off an inch, an inch and a half or so, it would make this a little more youthful, a little bit more my speed. Um, I feel like you can't see the vision now <laughs> because I look insane, it doesn't fit. <laughs> like, y'all scared a stretch or what? Y'all got no elastane over there? <laughs> but um, I actually really like the gold tones in this. My arms don't go in all the way, so I feel like that might be affecting how the shoulder pads are sitting because what do y'all think? Do my shoulders look like youthful shoulders or does it look like First Baptist shoulders? <laughs> first Lady shoulders. You know, like there are there are levels of shoulder pads. Um, but even though I don't like the pants, I really felt like they made a mistake by not taking the print all over. The print deserves to be admired from the front and the back. Like this is actually giving me very weird. Why would y'all do this to me? And maybe if the blazer matched, if there was no print in the back, I'd be like, all right, I see y'all trying to do something. Y'all have all print on the top and none on the, like, I, it's confusing me and my homegirls. I don't like that. But the top for sure, yeah, I'm gonna see what I could do with this one. Cause she's really cute and I feel like she could definitely be a vibe. Like with the black lapel, I feel like the black lapel makes it so sexy. And it's like sateen, honey. Yeah, I like that. A little alteration, a little snit snit, a little click click, yeah. Ooh, if they even like just re redesign it and had like a, oh, eats. Uh, okay, see, and this is why I say I'm not a creator. Don't make me take something from scratch. But if you give me something that's already prepared and I just tweak it to make it perfect, I feel like, mm, because I just ate that up, low key, for my, Style. If you don't like that, that's fine, sis. 
Please don't tell me about my own style, all right? I'm not telling you about yours. Thank you. Okay, so next we have this dress here. Um, so, I don't know, something about this is just not making me fall in love with this on my body in particular. Like, I feel like it's not doing anything for me. <laughs> Um, I thought I was gonna have a little bit more of like a flare. Well, to start off, this wasn't even the color that I really wanted. I wanted the cream one, but I believe they were sold out in the size that I wanted. So I went ahead and got this. So I don't know if maybe it's the sizing, maybe I should have sized up or sized down because I feel like this in-between situation, I don't love. Like I either want you to be loose and flowing or tight. <laughs> And it's just very awkward right now. I feel like I'm being swallowed. I'm being swallowed up. Um, maybe if I belted it, added some accessories. I would probably do a monochromatic look with this because I'm trying to get as much wear out of my boots as possible. So my, my burgundy boots, this dress, I have a burgundy bag and then put a little something on the face. I just happen to have sunglasses here, don't mind me. Just like a little something to add a little spice, a little belt to add some kind of like shape and dimension um, because the bottom has character, but it just looks very frumpy. Now it has just been sitting in a little container or whatever to wait for this video. So maybe that's what it is. I just need to like dress it up a little bit because I feel like with the sunglasses, it's doing something. And like with the belt, the boots, the accessories, I could bring this back to life. I bring this back to life. Um, I do think that this is very appropriate for the workplace. Like, love that. Not mad at that at all. It's okay, I feel like things can be done. Things can be done to eat the girls up, to eat your stuff up, eat your mans up, eat your, uh, huh, yeah. It just looks a little frumpy. Maybe if I like <laughs> steamed it or something, like, I don't know. Something about the bottom is just not sitting right with me. Um, but Telly loves fashion. I know she has this in the cream color that I wanted. It looks great on her. So I'm just like, I think maybe it's the way it was rolled up <laughs> that it's just, it's kind of lost some of the magic here. But I think I can bring it back. I think I can bring it back. Like, I feel like these earrings look really great, especially like touching the neckline. This turtleneck right here, the way it makes it look like I even have somewhat of a neck, it's, it's really doing it for me. I'm, I mean, I'm just, uh, and with the big area, I feel like, yeah, accessories is what's gonna save this look. Um, okay, um, yeah, so it's iffy on its own, but if you're willing to play with it a little bit, I think it has a little potential. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So as you guys can see, when I said that I was stepping out of my comfort zone, I was not kidding. Um, I am not sure what my thought process was at the time in which I added to cart. Um, this is definitely giving first lady, like this is giving first lady Christmas. And you know what? I clearly was very much still on the holiday vibe. I was still on the holiday high. I was still very much thinking about Christmas and New Year's. Um, you know, uh, twinkle, twinkle, mistletoe, I, all the things. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm trying to see like what what can be done because once again it has that awkward lamp so i'm like if i if i crop i'm not gonna lie the, the the blazer for me is out like i just it's a little scratchy particularly on the back of my arms on each side it's almost like there's one sequin that's somehow managing to invert itself on each arm like it's very weird i don't really see me 
Actually, no, I'm not. I really could eat this up. <laughs> like on a night out, <laughs> I might take off. I feel like maybe I take off the shoulder pads. Oh, it's oh, it's in there. It's actually like sewed inside. I don't have to cut the ooh the lining and ooh baby, that's engraved, honey. Um, the skirt itself is. I actually really like this. You know, skirts. It's very hit or miss and it's usually miss so whenever i find one that actually looks somewhat decent on my body i'm just like oh yeah i'm absolutely here for it um this length though is giving work attire it's giving damn near where the church was so tight um and i feel like with such razzle dazzle this only gives party so i feel like just the tiniest bit once again this is for me and my style and my preference if you like it as is and go ahead and wear it as is but for me and mine i think that because it screams party in the texture and the the sequins and the colorway and all of that i needed to scream party in the length like not too much y'all know i am about you know um my super short skirts um when i'm wearing shorts and stuff but like yeah i would need a reasonable something and i feel like this could be like a really dressy dinner with tights i i could have ate up y'all grannies a first sunday if i had this in time so she's welcome let her know she like i come flex on her <laughs> Oh, she is cute. Hold on, what is stabbing me here? She, she is, she, what? She is stabbing. What is in here? What is that? That's scratching me. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure that out later. But I love the color of this dress. It has a mock neck. This button detailing down the side here. I think it's very different that they put it to the side instead of the center. It definitely adds a little zhuzh to what could otherwise come off as a plain dress. Um, but just making little changes like that and adding little details enhances the look overall. Once again, I think it's very appropriate for the office. Um, a more uh, reserved occasion. Uh, I do feel like the arms could be longer once again um, it just just a tad bit because if I just wear it like comfortably it's 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 a little Shein ish at the sleeve at the wrist you know um, I don't want to have to keep pulling it down to make it stay down that's very mm. and I feel like eventually this will like stretch out I don't like that at all I don't like that at all but other than that like beautiful beautiful color once again i'm here for the jewel tones see and if the shoulders are actually where they should be yeah it's almost giving three quarters honey like what's going on what's going on oh i don't like that yeah just give us a little more on the sleeve that's it give us a little more on the sleeve um oh the gold pairs beautifully with this like oh my goodness um yeah other than that beautiful heavy material i feel like with a dress like this if it's like in the 40s you could wear a light trench coat over it or if you maybe you're, you're a really cold girl and you want a heavy coat you know <laughs> but i feel like you can balance out the, the the heaviness of this dress with a lighter outer garment but she's really cute and the buttons are like a khaki and brown color so you can play up on that for the accessories and do like a brown boot uh or heels or whatever you know you are comfortable wearing but um she's cute i like this i just first i need to figure out what the heck is in here that's bothering me and it's probably like the smallest thing because when i'm running my finger across the, the the lining the seam i don't feel anything but i can feel it on my wrist probably just like literally a piece of random thread like the way our body is so sensitive <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy it kind of reminds me of like the princess and the pea. Um, yeah, that's gonna mess with me. But other than that, I think she's she's really cute. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying these knit pieces. I mean, I know the other one needed some work, but like if you're a girly that loves a simple dress that's cute and quick, like we love a quick throw on and go kind of outfit. This is it. I would definitely check out LLP for more styles like this because they're giving it to the girls. So if you guys are keeping up with the vlogs, I believe I mentioned that I used to be heavy in my blazer era back in the day. I'm trying to get back into it and 
I'm so scared because it has to be the right kind of blazer, the right kind of look, the right kind of length. Like once again, very particular about the way things look on me. So I did pick up a few that I'm hoping will bring the vibe of an oversized blazer. Um, now when trying to create the look that I'm envisioning, I typically go for single breasted blazers. One button is ideal, two it's fine because most likely it's gonna be open anyways. Um, and I wanted to have like a more of a cash look, but I want different colors. Like I want fun colors that can like make a look pop. So I feel like that can, that can be a fun time, you know? Like this is such a beautiful color. Um, and I would definitely wear this with something that's maybe like colorful, something to like tone down the dressiness of the blazer and make it more contemporary, more modern. A little more me and my speed, especially for my lifestyle. I'm very much outside and outside gray. And you know, when you pair something oversized on the outside, it gives you more leeway to do something tiny on the inside. So even if I was like wearing something like this, like a mini skirt, I mean, wearing shorts, but a mini skirt and a little bralette, like it's just like a little tease, a little something, something. Beautiful length, like, oh, I'm here for this. I feel like, I got this one right, I did. And I love the color, I love the color. Um, yeah, so I would have to play around. It's been so long. I used to do like oversized blazers with like leggings and stuff. <sighs> ah, young Jamima. But um, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna play around with these. Um, I don't really have in-person business meetings and things I attend where this could also transition to that, of course, a blazer. Um, so I feel like that would be perfect. Like, oh my God, like this over some slacks. Mm, mm, mm. I really love this color. I feel like it's making my eyes stand out, my lips, like my glossy lips. I feel like it makes my hair look better. <laughs> I just love this color on my skin. I just, I just love this color. I think it's stunning absolutely stunning yeah so i'm pretty sure this is the same exact blazer just in this beautiful like candy apple red um like the red is cute i love the red but she's not eating like the yellow one did the chartreuse one did <laughs> um but she's cute for sure you know she's doing what, what needs to be done absolutely this makes me miss the office oh my god oh my god this makes me miss my nine to five. Like I was never this cute going to work, which is insane, which is bonkers. I used to look a hot mess and I didn't care, man. I didn't have a care in the world. And that's crazy because as a girl who produces fashion content on a regular basis, on a weekly basis, in person, you're showing up crazy, very much crazy. <laughs> but like now, if I was in the office now, the way I would be eating up the corporate looks, you yeah. know, yeah yeah and i'm like as cute as this is i kind of wish that like i just had more variety in my life so i could like dress up like this a little bit you know throw on a cute pump a little denim but like where am i going and with who <laughs> and i feel like if i lived back home in dc i would have been good like because i'm like cash up a bunch of the girls because the girls are the corporate girlies the 95 girlies okay the project managers the senior managers the the directors the, like the girls are the corporate girlies do you guys want to meet for lunch here's a content creator coming here blazer <laughs> you're back because <laughs> one thing about it even if i was at home creating content when i went to happy hour in dc you you put you put on that slack <laughs> Okay, like I'm not coming out happy hour wearing a crop top and, and leather pants or whatever the case may be because baby, I'm, I'm here to blend in. Okay, I don't want nobody asking me like, where you come from? Work. And don't ask me what my work is. Ain't none of your business. Cause you know, I'll be talking about my business like that anyways. Unless I have to, tell me your business. Where you work at, sir? <laughs> okay, so here we have this fun time blazer this is different from the other one this is the single breasted single button i like this blazer because i don't know how it comes off but it's actually very lightweight and i feel like sometimes metallics can get heavy like that sequin bolero red situation with the grandma top the first lady top um it was heavy 
And I feel like sometimes sequins and metallic and shiny things can come off that way because of the extra material and stuff. This is very lightweight, which I feel like makes it so much more comfortable for me. Um, I think wearing it closed makes me look a little boxy. I would definitely have to wear something like tight underneath this <laughs> to, you know, create a little juxtaposition between the shapes. But um, I feel like when you spend so long being invisible, you eventually find comfort in it. And a lot of times I don't want to do too much because I don't want to stand out. I don't want the attention. And I'm over that. I'm over that. And not even for me, but like literally I, I want people to see fat fly girls. And that's literally it. I want you to see a big ass girl with a big ass back walk past you looking fly as hell and i feel like that's my mission this year just to be fly as hell like i want you to see me existing in all of my fat glory and i want you to salivate over this outfit because look at this blazer honey the blazer is eating the girls up now before i'd be like oh like she's cute but you know like where am i gonna wear this to i'm gonna wear this to dinner yeah i'm gonna wear this to dinner okay i'm not one for giving a motivational speech but I truly believe that in just living your life and just having or allowing people to see your existence in a way that we've been told for so long we should not be allowed to exist, it speaks volumes. Because even me, I feel like you guys have watched me grow up on this platform. Because if you really scroll back to the beginning of my, my content, I didn't even wear sleeveless clothes. Like I didn't wear clothes I showed my, my back fat, my rolls. Like <laughs> your girl was like very much scared to wear certain things outside. And it's like, who am I now? Like who, I don't even recognize who I am. And I'm like, the reason I've been able to progress so much in my own journey is because I saw other big girls doing it. I saw other fat fly girls. And I was like, wait a minute. They look good as hell. So why can't I look good as hell? Who is stopping me? Who is gonna beat my ass for wearing this, this loud AF blazer? Who? And baby, you put this together, the cute pieces, the right shoes, the right accessories. Like, yeah, I want you to see me being fat and fly. It's a political statement at this point. Yeah, it's a political statement. It's propaganda. <laughs> What do they, what do people like to say? I'm promoting obesity. Yeah. And what about it? Your mom is already obese. How can I promote something that's already actively in your family? Respectfully. <laughs> but no, and that's, that's my goal this year. I want you to see me being fat and fly. And that's just that on that. Period. Yeah. So the first thought that came to my mind was, oh my God, where am I gonna wear this to? Like, what extravagant party would I wear this to? Dinner, a cute little dinner, okay? By yourself, with a friend, with a situation, with family, it doesn't matter. I was about to say, worth the lunch, but baby steps should be my, it's a little much now. It's a little much, okay? Time and place, <laughs> time and place. <laughs> Okay, so I got this next blazer. This one is giving structure. It's, it's, oh, this is giving something completely different. Hold on, let me see. I feel bony in here. Oh, whoa, this is giving corset vibes. Ooh, I'm not really corset girly. Like, I, I love it in theory, beautiful, you know? Beautiful, um, especially when paired with something that's like oversized. Beautiful, but in, in practice, it, it, it's just, I feel like they're just very stiff and it's very scary to me. First things first, my girls don't fit in the mold. Now, could this be finessed? Let's, oh, brother. Okay, so I can make it a little better. Oh, Lord, my. They just don't actually sit that high. I just, I don't know. <sighs> oh, um, yeah. 
for me personally my lifestyle i'm not sure how realistic this is for me but she is cute i feel like it's not it's not given what i feel like it's supposed to give like if it's gonna be a snatchation shouldn't it be a little more close to the body in the back something is a little off but then again, I feel like if this was lower down and this was actually on my torso, maybe it would fit the way it's supposed to. Um, so I may have solved <laughs> that mystery. Um, yeah, so I just don't love how this looks on my body. Um, but I, I think the concept is, is cute. Maybe if you have a smaller bust and they're still somewhat where they should be, this is more your speed. Um, I'm not mad at this at all. This definitely adds a sexy vibe to what could otherwise just be a plain blazer. I'm not mad at this. Last, but most certainly not least, I picked up this sleeveless situation. And at first I was like, I don't know why I did this. Like I have a couple sleeveless vests and blazers that I have in my collection. And I'll wear them like once or twice, but then I don't pull for them on an everyday basis. And uh, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know why. Like I feel like, the sleeveless factor makes it kind of iffy for me because like, are you hot or are you cold? You have to wear something long sleeve as opposed to like a, a full length blazer I can just wear something sleeveless and still be like comfortable. But the fact that this is black, I feel like I might, I might be okay with this. I have another one. It just makes my head look so inflated. <laughs> Cause like I said, y'all know, no neck gang, gang gang. Um, I feel like this one is not as bad because it, it, the other one was it's pleather. So this, because of the thinner material as compared to the, the pleather, I feel like I don't have that issue. Also, even with it opened, um, it still has shape and I love that. So you guys see like it has that broad shoulder, but then it like tapers in and then comes out a little bit. So it's giving hourglass. And I feel like that makes it interesting as opposed to it just being straight up and down. Cause even straight up and down, it's still cute. Like, but just like casually, just like sitting and letting it flow where it goes. This is really cute. From the side, just give it straight up and down, but that's fine. So I think that because it's black, maybe I will reach for it. Um, but this is the last of me buying a sleeveless blazer <laughs> because I have one, two, three right now that are like on the dresser side that I don't wear. I have two that were more cloth material that I got from Amazon Drop, I think. I already got rid of those. I do also like this one because it is longer. The other ones weren't as long. It didn't really hit on the hip. It was a little shorter and that killed my vibe. <laughs> So as of right now, I feel like I really like it. And I mean, actually the issue isn't liking it. It's it's more so, am I going to reach for it? And that is what I'm working on this year is really picking pieces that I'm actually going to reach for and wear and not just, oh, it's cute, I want it. Um, so I'm going to make it my mission to style more of my sleeveless blazers, but particularly this one. And I feel like this one looks really good. This one looks really good. I am, I'm already like thinking of ways to wear this like cute like leather pants or shorts. I'm sorry, leather shorts would be really cute with this to make it more conducive for my lifestyle. You can dress, dress this up and make it more work friendly with slacks. You can belt it or leave it as is. You can wear a dress underneath it and layer this on top. You can throw on some leggings underneath this um, or a long sleeve full bodysuit and throw on some combat boots. Like there are ways you can go with this Maybe I should make that a video, like a styling video, like a quick little reel or something. Oh, that's tea. Let me put it to the side. Yeah, we, we gonna do that. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, but I hope I also inspires you to maybe try something that you've never tried before. Try wearing something that makes you a little more visible than you usually are. Um, because there is power in your outfit. It could be a mundane thing, but it can also be a statement. It can be freeing for someone else that's watching you live your life. And I'm here for that. I don't know about y'all, 
but I'm 1000% here for that. So cheers to Eloquy for hooking a girl up with blazers that actually fit. And by hooking a girl up, I mean I paid for it and they sent it to me and they just have it, they had it in stock. I appreciate y'all having it in stock for me to purchase. <laughs> Um, cause your girl is back in her blazer bag. I'm finna, I'm finna finesse some outfits. I hope. Please, Lord, don't let me let them pick up dust in my closet. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Toodles, darling. <laughs> I thought I was rapping this video. Was I talking a lot? I feel like I was talking a lot. Like, like how easily can I advise? How easily? Can the vibes be given? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! She's in her bag. In her Brandon Blackwood bag. <laughs> <laughs>